200 degrees <coughs> below out there with wind chill, and I've been walking for over an hour. My, my car died. Dead. I left it out there. I don't even know where. It's probably buried in the snow by now. Out there. Somewhere. So I do mind if I have a drink? The Reacts production of Brilliant Traces, it's a lovely play about a, a man and a woman who uh, meet totally by chance. Being together sort of helps them figure things out. I think anyone who suffered uh, a loss or um, had some tragedy in their life will really appreciate the humor and uh, the drama. My character's name is Henry Harry. He is a hermit. Uh, he decided to move to Alaska in the middle of nowhere. Uh, he works uh, on an oil rig that's 400 miles away, which is also kind of in the middle of nowhere. And he really doesn't like people in general. I made some soup. Let me go see if it's still hot. The play is structured. You're introduced to the characters, and you really don't know much about them. As the play progresses, you learn more and more. And then what I think is interesting about the piece is that you really start to care about the people. And then, and then when you find out their histories and, and what they've gone through in their lives, um, you really get a sense that, um, you know, we, we've all had experiences like that in some way. What, what are you doing? What? I can feed myself. I don't need anyone to feed me. Who do you think I am? Someone who needs someone to feed her? No. I... No. Excuse me. Well, that's all right. No, I'm terribly sorry. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. <coughs> I don't quite know. My character is Rosanna DeLuce, and she starts out the play by running away from her wedding. Um, in Arizona and then she drives across the country to Alaska where she stumbles upon this cabin in a blizzard and she's just undergone like a huge life change and sort of realized that her life is not what she wants it to be. There, all buttered. She's like sort of always done what's asked of her. She's like a very timid human being but she's got a I'm lot sorry. of complexity to her. I didn't mean to butter your bread. I'm sure you can butter your own bread. I'm sure you're the kind of person who can butter her own bread. Here, here's another piece. You butter it. This one's mine, that one's yours. I'm Henry Harry. Oh. You've been very kind, I mean... You were almost frozen to death. I didn't do anything you wouldn't do for a sick dog. Oh. Someone comes banging into your home. You don't have to be any particular kind of person to feed them. No, I wasn't implying... You'd have to be pretty far gone if you didn't even feed them. That's true. I was just making an observation. I... You know, any one person on the face of this earth would feed another if he was sitting right in front of him and so hungry he couldn't even think straight. I can think straight. He is a very caring person, and yet he has purposely secluded himself, um, you know, in the far reaches of northern Alaska to try to avoid people because, you know, when, when you take a chance and, 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 and love people, uh, obviously your heart can get, be broken and, um, and uh, you know, that's very painful and for some of us it's too painful and so the only escape is to try to avoid uh, interactions uh, and so he's basically become, a, you know, a, a, a recluse. I banged into my, my door. I thought it was the sky, but it had a handle. I pushed, I fell inside, I was saved. I stood right over there looking around my house thinking about how everything has shape and form and how it could all disappear in an instant. It's a sight to see everything transformed into nothing. You'd be transformed too. If you went out there, someone would look right at you and see nothing. They would not. They would. <laughs> oh, they would. Brilliant Traces is uh, about two people, two strangers, who encounter each other in Henry Harry's cabin. He lives in the middle of nowhere in Alaska. They sort of are hashing out the things that they, as individuals, have sort of been going through together and sort of find the answers that they're looking for in each other. For example, I know that I appear at this moment to be sitting here in this chair, but I'm not. No? No, not from my point of view. From my point of view, I am making no contact with this chair whatsoever. From my point of view, I'm flying. The play is called Brilliant Traces and it's kind of about uh, the meeting of two strangers, two complete strangers, um, and they're stuck 
together. They're, they're kind of forced into a, into a room together and, and they have to interact with each other. They're forced to kind of learn about each other and then they kind of help each other work through their problems. And that's kind of a very general summary of, of what Brilliant Traces is about. Well, this is pretty remote. This is my home. Yes, but what about people? What about people? I mean, don't you ever want to see people? No. No? Never? No one? No, never no one. Never. I hope the audience will just have a greater appreciation of the struggles that we all go through, you know, in life, and th they'll be willing to, you know, to, to, to be awake in life and to love other people and to take a chance and to, uh, um, you know, live life to the fullest because, you know, it, it's, it's the, the interactions we have with others and, and the uh, relationships that we, we build and forge and, and work hard for that um, truly make worth life worth living. And this play sort of is a gentle, charming, uh, inspiring reminder of that.